Hey guys, WTF is going on, Carter here. Got another video for you. This one will be fast, I promise. This is based off a comment somebody left. They asked how easy was it to one hand close the SR1 and the 4MAX. They had purchased a custom 4MAX, I believe, and said that when they tried to one hand close, it almost cut their finger off. So I'm gonna give you how I do it. Um, some pointers, some tips, and some reasons. I'm going freehand on the camera here. You can see it shaking around. Just because I need a slightly better angle in order to uh, properly show this off for you guys so that I can uh, kind of demonstrate. But first and foremost, there's a few factors that go into play here. One is how heavy, how big is the blade? How smooth is the action? And that kind of fits in with customs. Productions, you're not going to have too much of an issue. When you're dealing with customs with a big, heavy blade like this, this thing is going to come down uh, typically faster, smoother, so you have a greater chance of maybe getting a little nick, uh, depending on some of these other factors. The other factor at play here is how chunky are your fingers. Um, I have big hands in terms of wingspan. I have long fingers, kind of wide palms, big hands, but I don't have fat fingers. They're pretty, uh, pretty lanky, pretty lean. If you have really fat fingers, you're going to have a more difficult time, but I'll tell you how to kind of uh, adjust for that, I guess. So it's really simple. I think I've talked about this in another video before, but when you're one-handed closing, you want to get your index finger, let's move those out of the way. You want to get your index finger up high here, um, not up here. You don't want to lift it off of the handle. Just press up against this choil right there. If you have fatter fingers, you might want to try to do more of an index uh, or tip of the finger instead of kind of the mid. Uh, this is easier, more comfortable, and when you're actually holding the knife, you're more prone to be in this position, but if you have really thick fingers, you might run into trouble. So you might wanna uh, scoot back a little bit. But you simply press up, you know, get a good firm grip there, let go, and boom. It, the tang of the blade will hit your finger and you have minimal to no chance of actually getting cut, uh, especially since it's not coming down with that much force. The blade on here, although thick, is not super heavy. Being a production knife, it's not uh, swinging down like crazy. You've actually got to shake it in order to get it to come down. We'll do that with the Immortal as well. Still can't really see too much, but similar thing. So right there, it hits right there. Not even close to getting cut, and then you can come and close it. 4MAX, you guessed it. Same principle. Shake it free. This one's actually a little stiffer than uh, the other ones. The same thing, hits your finger. This is probably comes the closest, which is why uh, this individual probably had trouble. You can see how it, it kind of comes the closest to cutting me, but uh, because this is a production, it's not as smooth as a, a custom knife, you saw how I had to kind of really shake it. And in fact, really, if you just unlock it, it kind of just falls down to there. And then you can reach up and close it. So not a super simple answer, I guess. But it kind of depends on a number of factors. How fat your fingers are. How smooth the action is. How heavy the blade is. And then proper finger position. You can easily close these. Uh, worst case scenario, you're dealing with a, a custom 4MAX. Super heavy blade. Super smooth. Maybe your fingers are thick or you don't get them perfectly in the right position. You might get a little nick just on the corner here, but it's not going to be devastating. By the way, this Band-Aid is unrelated to this video. In fact, unrelated to knives. Uh, has nothing to do with knives. So don't worry your pretty heads. I didn't cut myself playing with knives, although I, I do that often. So I don't know why I'm trying to pretend like I don't because I cut myself all the time playing with knives. So that's how you can one-handed close cold steel triad lock knives, or at least how I've found some success doing it. Uh, may vary with you, but uh, that's it. Quick tip, life hack. Later.